Are you trying to be cool? I mean, just because we cleared the skies for you, now you want to be cool. Uh, okay, we've seen you on television, by the way. And uh, the whole world knows that you're not a quiet people. So don't try and act cool because we come from Africa and you're afraid that we'll go back and tell them just how savage hurt me can be. But don't worry, we're on your side. We're on your side here. Uh, actually, we've come to help you because there's a lot of people here who never screamed before in their lives. Not even in bed. And you know those people who are really quiet when you come up to them, they get scared that you're going to greet them and they just start to sweat. So this here, if you are one of those people, this is your big chance. Today could be the change of your whole life right here in front of all those people. And remember that we are doing this for you for free. So I'm going to pump you up for your own health. <laughs> And let's let, let's be your real self. Let's be your real self. I was like, hello, help me! <laughs> God damn it! Trying to be cool. Shit. Um. Okay, now that we've all healed ourselves. I would like to dedicate this song to all those people that we see on television who are victims of decimation by natural disasters, which have been happening more and more often these days, perhaps because of how over the last century or more we have treated the world so cruelly as if it belonged to us and we spoiled the earth we spoiled the water we spoiled the air we spoiled the music we even spoiled the sex <laughs> because we take we're taking nature for granted we've forgotten that we're a very small minute part of nature and maybe if we can start thinking about that and start treating nature with more respect, maybe, just maybe, these disasters will go away. But our condolences and our heartfelt sympathies goes to their families and may they be able to go on with their lives. We also would like to dedicate this song to all those people we also see on television running and falling crying and hiding with their last little bundles on their backs, running away from the guns of the very people that they voted and elected into office who are now using them for targets. <clears throat> and if you look at those people, you'll see that it's mostly women and children and old people and the sick and the physically handicapped running for cover from crossfire and danger to seek a peaceful environment somewhere they don't know where. So tonight when you go home, I just want to beg you and ask you that when you go and do that jacuzzi or that massage or whatever else you're going to do tonight to make you feel good that we don't want to know about, but when you reach that real feel-good moment, please, I want to beg you to just send out a prayer, a little prayer of love to all those people who are really catching hell out there. And let's just remember how fortunate we are here in this theater. There's a train that comes from Namibia and Malawi 
There's a train that comes from Zambia and Zimbabwe. There's a train that comes from Angola and Mozambique, from Lesotho, from Botswana, from Swaziland, from all the hinterlands of Southern and Central Africa. This train carries young and old African men who are conscripted to come and work on contract in the gold and mineral mines of Johannesburg and its surrounding provinces and metropolis. 16 hours or more a day for almost no pay. Deep! 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 Down in the belly of the earth when they are digging and drilling for that shiny, mighty, evasive stone. Or when they dish that mishmash mush food into their iron plates with the iron shovel. Or when they sit in their stinky, filthy, funky, flea-ridden barracks and hostels. And they think about the loved ones they may never see again. Because they might already have been forcibly removed from where they last left them. Or perhaps wantonly murdered in the dead of night by roving and marauding gangs of no particular origin. So we are told. They think about their lands and their herds that were taken away from them with the gun and the cannon, with the collaborator and the dog and the tear gas and the poison. And when they hear that choo-choo train, Smoking and a puffing and a tooting, steaming and a timing and a grumbling and a hustling and a crying and a moaning and a wailing and a screaming and screeching and they always curse and they curse the coal train, the coal train that brought them to Johannesburg, steamer. Stimela, 
Shh, <laughs> shh, 